Welcome to today's session. So today we are looking at 2021 Mathematics Paper 1. So we intend to cover question 1 through to question 6 in this first part. So question 1 leads simplify. So simplify 2y minus 3x. So 2y minus 3 multiplied by x minus 4 then minus y so what is critical here is this question is assessing you the ability to deal with brackets okay brackets as you are multiplying subtracting and adding so in this case let us expand what is in the bracket so we have minus 2y minus then in the bracket so is this 3 multiplied by x we get minus 3x then this negative 3 multiplied by uh, negative 4 we get a positive 12 then minus y then at this point remember this remains unchanged at this point is just collecting the like terms we have 2y minus this which is y with a negative then minus this with a negative 3x plus 12 so the common mistake is people forget this negative okay they forget that negative then we know that we have 2y minus y. We have two apples. We take out one. We remain with a y. So y then minus 3x then plus 12. So if you notice here is we cannot simplify this further than that. So basically this is the answer to question 1. So let us move to question 2. So question 2 saying evaluate. Evaluate minus 3 to the power 2 plus 3 to the power 2 so this is the simplest give, give, give away so what we know is a minus which is minus 2 to the power 3 now what you notice is the power is only affecting the 3 not a negative so minus 3 in bracket square and is not equal to minus 3 square this is not these are not the same so unless it's in the bracket okay it means you square negative 3 so which is negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 which is positive 9 so the common mistake is people square with a negative which is not there okay avoid that so in so basically a minus 3 square means 3 times 3 times a negative which is in this case negative 9 then we add 3 times 3 which is 9 so at the end of the day we get a 0 okay so 0 is the answer there so what is common here is people squaring negative 3 then they get 9 plus 9 which is 18 so you see a trap okay so that's question 1 and 2 let us move to question number 3 so number three leads solve the equation. So solve the equation 2x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 3 equals to 0. Okay. So what you notice here is this question is again giveaway. What this one tells us is is either 2x minus 5 equals to 0. It's either this one is equal to 0 because 0 times anything is 0. Or x plus 3 equals to 0 this has already been factorized for you so it's a giveaway so if this one is 0 we multiply by that we get a 0 or if this one is 0 we multiply by that is get a 0 or if both of them are 0 0 times 0 is 0 so what it implies now is we have 2x is equal to 5 once this one crosses the equal sign it becomes a positive remember that principle we divide by 2 we divide by 2 so x is equal to uh, 2.5 then this one crosses this one remains the way it is so it's x equals to once this one crosses the equal sign it becomes a negative so hence x is equal to negative 3 so we have two answers there it's either x is equal to 2.5 or x is equal to negative 3 so that's how you answer question number 3 let us move to question number 4 Question 4 leads, 
Use set notation to describe the shaded part in the Venn diagram below. So let me just draw this set so that I'm able to shade properly. So we have three sets, set A, B, and set C. So let me start with the middle part, this part. So this part is basically we are saying B intersection C. So this set, so basically, is what is in B and at the same time found in C. So this is B intersection C. So now when I look at the remaining part, the remaining part, which is this, the one I'm shading with black, this set is basically set A. So set A, what is found in A intersection B, we combine it with what is found in A alone. You've seen this, this one? So what we get is basically A union B intersection C. B intersection C in brackets because it's in brackets. So we start with finding what is in A and D, what is in B and C. Then we combine it with what is found in set A. Hence we get this. This is also, we can write it as B intersection C union A. It's the same thing. Okay? It is the same thing. So basically, this is how you answer question 4. Let us move to question number 5 and 6. So number 5 leads, find the equation of a straight line passing through the points 3,4, then uh, 7,12. 7,12. Okay. Okay. So if you look at this question again, you look at this question critically, so we need to use the principle that we know that any equation, any equation is given by y is equal to m multiplied by x plus c, where m is a gradient. Where m, basically the gradient is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so what is y1 in this case? So this is the y, then this is, so this will be point D. A, which is then this is point B, which is x2. This is x2, this is x1. So in this case, what we know is what is the y at point B is 12 minus what is the y at point A is 4 over what is the value of y at x at point B is 7, then minus the value at point A 3. So we get 12 minus 4, 8 over 7 minus 4, which is 2. So we get 2. So basically the gradient is a 2. So now having known the gradient, having known the gradient which is m, we can pick any of these points a or b. a or b, then we have y is equal to 2x plus c. So we need to find c at point a. a is c. So what is the value of a? y at a is 4. So 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by what's the value of x? 3 plus c. So you get 4 is equal to 6, which is 2 times 3, plus c. So c basically is equal to 4 minus 6, when 6 crosses this one, so you get negative 2. So what that tells us, the equation now becomes y is equal to, we're substituting now in this equation, m is a 2, x, then c is uh, basically negative 2. So we have this equation. So this is our equation here. Okay, a straight line. Then, when you come to question number six, number six, factorize completely. So what we have basically is, what we have is basically 3x square, 3x cubed. Maybe let me just clear the board so that I, I, I create enough space for us to do question number six. So number six, what we have is basically uh, 3x cubic minus 12 x y square. So this can be written as basically, we know that there is x here and there is three here. So we take out three x. So three x into three x square, we get x square minus three into 12 is four 
then uh, so 3x into 12xy we get basically a y square so what I remain with is this one so what is what I've underlined in the bracket this one can be summarized can be further factorized as follows so in this case what we know is for this equation is a quadratic equation the product is basically uh, this is 1 times this whole thing is negative 4y square. Then the sum is a 0. Then we need to look for factors. So what are the two things that we multiply? So if you think that the number that we can multiply, multiply to get a 4, a negative 4, should be 1, a positive 1, a negative. So we can multiply negative 2 and positive 2. Then because there is y square here, it means we are multiplying y by itself. So we are multiplying negative 2y and negative or positive 2y so that we get in if you multiply these two we end up with negative 4x 4, 4y square 4y square so we can substitute this by adding these two so that they give us a zero which is in between them. because this now becomes x square plus zero y minus y x okay minus remember this is the zero which is zero y then x is the coefficient of x square the second coefficient then plus four y square okay so this x square becomes now plus we add this zero zero y x which is basically we have basically A minus 2yx plus 2yx minus 4x, 4y square, sorry, 4y square, okay? So, why are we saying y? So, this y, remember, we are, we are used to writing the fact that if there was no y here, this would have been just neg negative 2 and positive 2. But because there is a y square here, that's why... This whole thing is what is making up the uh, factor. So at this point, we can now fa factorize. So we can factor out uh, x. In this case, we can factor out x. So we have x, x square, or x. In there we remain with x. Then minus 2y. Then plus, here we factor out 2y. Then we have x minus 2. x minus 2y. Okay. x minus 2y. So what we end up with x plus 2y. You see what is in the bracket here. These are the same. Multiply by uh, x plus x minus. Sorry. You're just getting one there. x minus 2y. So what we have here is this. Then we multiply by, remember what you had factored out earlier, this one. So we end up with 3x multiplied by x plus 2y multiplied by x minus 2y. So this is our answer to question 6. So basically, this is how you answer the first part, the first six questions of paper one mathematics from the 2021 exams. Thank you for joining us today. Join us in the second session when we'll be looking at uh, question seven going forward.